Okay, so this is a little video on extra info. As you can see, I've got a little box moving from left to right, and every time it hits this side here, it goes down one little bit. I've also got this down here, which can move left and right, and bizarrely fire using F. And as you can see, it follows me around. These are the things people wanted to, to, to know about today, how to do. Um, I've not done any more than just that, but it does just move around. And um, I'm going to just quickly show you, and I mean quickly, because it's not that, it's not that hard really, it's pretty straightforward. So I've got my typical Box2D web, it's just a simple engineering concept next. So let's start from the start. I don't need these things, that's another thing I don't need. Okay, let's get rid of those things. Sorry, we're going to use old code. Um, let's just get rid of this jumping malarkey. Right, we'll leave it. Such make sure everything works when you record. Let's get rid of the city to destroy everything. Sure, we don't need spawn now. Okay, fine. It's a really crude implementation. So let's just check out how we do it. So I've created something called left val. What left val does is it says, are you going left? At this moment in time, when we start, as you can see, when we start, yes, we go left. And then val says, well, should we go down? At the moment, it's set to false, and as you can see, every time it hits, it moves down a little bit. Okay, so I've got these key down functions where the ship can move left and the ship can move right, as you saw, and also we can fire using the F key. We pass in parameters this time about the ship, so we pass in the position, the X position, the Y position of the ship because the bullets need to be relative to the ship. Okay, and these things will just stop, that's all. So you've seen all this stuff before, you've seen all this stuff before. I've set the gravity to zero, fine. I create a new fixture, I create a, a ground. I've named it floor, I've got a left, I've named it left, I've got a right, I've named it right in terms of user data. I've created a circle, roll test, because it's taken from the floor, that's this one is roll test. This one is ship. Uh, as I say, ship there, they both start at some point. Now that's not the nitty gritty that you want to know about today. Okay, so what do you want to know about? Well, let's first of all go down and ask ourselves how do we make it move left and right? Well, we make something called left, we make something called right. Now it's important to notice that um, I've called these left wall and right wall. If you give these the same name, it won't work. So if it's left and then left, uh, for a function, it won't work. Similarly with left val, all right? Um, so I've called this left. Then I've taken roll test. So remember, I said roll test is this thing. I've said set linear velocity to minus four zero if, um, and, and inside my update function, I have an if statement that says if left val is true, then move left, and if it's not, then move right. So to start with, it's true. And it collides with a left wall and it changes. So let's go down to collisions. And as we can see, and this uh, four by minus four, by the way, moves to the left. Um, it's an arbitrary number. You can just pick that number at random. So I do a test and see if one, because that's what I called roll test in, in the user ID. Let's remind ourselves of that in case you can't remember. So uh, one is what roll test is. So if that hits left. What I'm basically saying, if it hits left, then set let val equal to false, and because it's a collision, if you remember with the, uh, you know, these things in space, they just go long, dun, long, dun, long, dun. they get faster and faster. You can obviously do that as well, right? Just by changing values, you can do that by coming up with some construct that should be the same sort of thing. You can set a parameter. Anyway, we set let val equal to false. So, if left val is equal to false, then we move right. If it collides with the right wall, we set let val equal to true, and then it moves left again. 
We've also got this down bar that says when we hit something, we have to move down. And that's what's happening at the time. So let's go and find out what happens when down bar is pressed. We'll insert our update again. We have this thing called down bar. If down bar is true, we move down. And what is down? Down. What the hell is going on? Oh, sorry, yes. Down is actually inside here. So what we do is we get the get the y position of roll test at that moment. So the y position of this is there, and then we um, then we also have to get we get the in fact you know I haven't really used that but you know you could have I get the so set I set the position get body dot set position so roll test dot get body dot get position x has to stay the same so. As you can see, x stays the same, when it hits, stays the same, and then it just moves back again in the other direction. But the y is has a 10 added to it, because adding moves down the way, divided by scale. And then we set down value equal to false, so that it's switched off again. It doesn't, it doesn't go down anymore on each iteration. It only happens once. You know, as you can see, it only happens once at that scale. And 10, again, is an arbitrary number. Now, that's fine, right? So that's easy, that's how it moves left and right, just using those statements. Now, if um, ship left and ship right, just do the same thing. So I'm just moving uh, this forward, blah, blah, blah. And then so the stop obviously sets things to zero. Fire, well, you've seen how to do this, but the only thing I've added is this position X and position Y. Now, you can see that I've set these positions here to position X and position Y. So basically, the position X and position Y, this thing, is the position in which these things are going to respawn. These little balls are going to respawn. Sorry, just getting carried away. So, in that case, we we'll go up to our shoot thing, um, our fire thing, sorry. We get the ship, they'll get body, they'll get position X. And ship dot get body dot get position y pass them in handle them put them into the positions into the right place and then bam everything is done and that that really is it that is it so we take our collisions check for whether one hits left and one hits right done excellent